here with another awkward television interview, uh, this time with the good, clean, symmetrical Will Arnett. I ran out of adjectives, sorry. Yeah. But you do look clean. Do I? Yeah, you do look clean. I'm incredibly dirty right now. Really? Yeah, I've just come in from a third world country that will remain... Um, third world? Third for world. Forever? Um, no, I am. I'm, I'm remarkably clean today. You are clean. Thank you. I'm rarely clean. Is that true? Yeah. Is it bad when you like get out of the tub and there's like a ring of rich potting soil around the porcelain? It's probably not good. Yeah. Um, I don't know what disease that is. The potter's foot? <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, okay, let's not get into my life. It's okay. A, it's just a sad, depressing tale oh. of heart-wrenching depression and, 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 and incarceration. Morning, and morning drive sports. Morning drive sports, yes. Yeah. I mix that in every once in a while. Do you take a lot? Can I ask you a question about that? Please, do I would mind? enjoy that. Do you take, uh, do you take incoming calls from, from listeners? Unfortunately. I gotta say, man, my father-in-law lives in Boston. He listens to morning drive uh, sports radio, I mean, for hours. Mm -hmm. That has got to be the, the most annoying part of people with opinions yeah. at home. We take very little calls. It's got to be, I mean, it's so mind-numbing. Because first of all, I mean, who cares about, I don't care about my opinion, and I don't so expect So why would anybody. you care about Joe yeah. from North Boston? Yeah. yeah. I agree with you. You know. What were we talking about? I don't know. Oh. You're about to ask me a question, I'm going to give my opinion on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. By the uh, way, I'm sorry. I, I, again, my opinion means nothing. No, it, it means something. Yeah. To your mother? Maybe I guess. to God? I bear, I don't no, not my, not, really? you don't know my mother. <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. What about God? Does he ignore your care. prayers? God, who is that? Oh, I'm, I made a mistake. Uh oh no, 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 you didn't make a mistake at all. <laughs> no. I was just trying to figure out the answer to the question. I don't know okay. whether to go with a existential being or anthropomorphic yeah. deity. No, I, I don't know, know which I know, version I know of God. I know what you mean. I guess God, maybe, but he has to. He has to like me. He mm -hmm. loves everybody. He loves all of us. He likes comedies. I hope so. He likes romantic comedies. I hope so. All right, what is the stupidest thing you've ever done to to woo a lady? You you dance interpretively to a Yaz song, you write poems, you show up tipsy and shirtless at her work. What do you do? Um, <laughs> I never did any of that. I mean, I've done lots of um, kind of, you know, gone. I, I've traveled great distances. I've done that a few times where I've shown up like, hey, look who's here. On her doorstep in a yeah. third world country. Well, yeah, a lot of that. And she's like, I don't speak English. Um, but no, I, I've done a lot of like driving through snowstorms and stuff to, to try to get a, you know, like, look what I did. Right. I want to be with you. And, and she's like, I have a restraining order. And hands it to you, shows yeah. you a copy. I That's know awkward. It. I know the feeling. It's never fun. You're always so skinny. And, and were you ever heavy? Who, me? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. I used to be. I mean, so I you should have seen me two hours ago. Oh, you've lost oh, since I then. was a house. My gosh. Yeah. See, the only time I, I, I had a... A piece of iffy pork one time. Uh -huh. and oh, you're so lucky. I was hot for about two months. Yeah. Got a tapeworm. Hot for two months. Ballooned right back up. So, people would be like, oh, I just came back from vacation and I've got, uh, you know, a little Montezuma's revenge. And I'm always like, I'm so jealous. Yeah. But, anyway, honestly, great for me, it's, it's such a compliment when people ask me if I'm ill. Mm -hmm. You know, I think, thank you. Yeah, hospital chic. It's I've got a new diet, back. by the way, that I'm marketing and I want to use this opportunity to talk about it. Please. That's okay. Yeah. It's called it's called uh, dirty tap water, and uh, basically we've got a spigot down in Tijuana, and I've got some kids filling up old Coke bottles, and then we just bring up this water, and I get it's, it's really hot in Hollywood right now. Like three four days before a big event, you take a big swig of that, and I guarantee you, you will be throwing and going. 24 hours a day, really? and you will lose the weight and keep it off. Cleans out the system. Yeah. That's great. Will Arnett's Tijuana Water. That yeah. sounds great. Now, no interview would be complete without uh, me asking about uh, the Arrested Development movie, yes. so I apologize for this interview being incomplete. Um, let's take a moment to reflect on some of the best moments from this interview in a gauzy, filtered, kind of slow motion way. It was great. It was wonderful. Beautiful stuff. Yeah. Will Arnett, the great Will Arnett in When in Rome. Go see him and enjoy his new line of water that's designed to blow your lower intestines straight into the Kohler. Thank you, sir. Thank you, man. Pause, freeze frame.